All right, so this is going to be the rank one Nunu guide from NA coming back for season 14. Um, you know, we got rank one playing Nunu in season 10, and then ever since after, well, we've been the best Nunu. Some people have taken their place, but I'm here to take my place by showing you guys how I play Nunu while playing League of Legends. First off, we're gonna do starting the build. Um, the build you wanna do is Q, and then let's say like you're starting on blue buff. If you are, there's like certain paths you do, right? But if you wanna do like blue into, into Gromp, you would go E, but if you wanna go into like a different path where you go into wolves, like basically uh, level two, you would wanna go W because it's AOE, it's not single target. If it's single target, you go E, and then even into chickens. Um, but basically there's like three there's only like two paths for nunu and it depends where you want to gank so if you want to gank bot your your gank path would probably be like here um and then here and then you would go into red buff and then you'd be level three and then all of a sudden you're gonna be ganking bot at level three from uh from red buff right so this is like the fast path but i will say this if you want to do a really insanely fast path um for for Ganking pot from red side, you do this, and then you would roll a snowball with the chickens because they take very, um, they're very, very, like, fast to do. Um, you would actually probably smite the red buff or gromp, it doesn't really matter, but you want to smite one or the other. And then once you're done chickens, you'll actually have your snowball back up to snowball into the gromp, and then it's a very fast clear. That's why actually Pentalus does it. And as you can see, you would do this, you do it, and then you would be level three and gank pot. That's only really two uh, paths I know for Nunu, um, but basically everything is just to optimize you getting level three. And for runes, oh, <laughs> these are not the runes. Uh, actually, I don't even know why it's like this, but um, we'll have a picture. We'll have a picture. It's going to be Phase Rush, Celerity, Nimbus Cloak, and Water Walking. Everything is about movement speed on this champion so you can get fast snowballs. And of course, on the, uh, on the red side, you're going to have Eyeball Collection. And movement speed. Movement speed is good on Nunu because of W, but because you go eyeball collection, you used to be cheap shot. His AP ratios have gotten really insane over the past past few like months and years, and so his AP ratios are pretty insane. You want to do that. As for the build, you want to go into a well. You always want to go Gus Hatchling for boots. I can't buy it, but usually Mercs or Ninja Tabby. And then you, the number one item you need to get on your first buy is probably Dark Seal. It's your passive procs on every, like, basically it's an AOE buff, right? That gives you attack speed and movement speed. Um, so remember, when you, when you like, when you, when you have Dark Seal, you basically, that person who hits, hits and gets kills, which is very often, will give you Dark Seal stacks. And if you want, you can upgrade to Mejais. Um, the second thing I do want to say, the second tip I do want to give is if you'll notice, look, check this out. So, uh, you know, if you queue a champion, you only heal 63, but if you heal, uh, if you queue a minion, you heal 105. That's because, uh, you actually just heal more off like eating champ or sorry, eating minions. Um, so in team fights, your job is to tank. So even though you're going to be going a little AP build, you most likely want to eat a nearby minion because you're going to be taking a lot of damage. And then you like basically would roll a snowball, go in. Okay, they start focusing you, right? You do your combo. You, you press R and then get out. And, and sometimes you would press your R just for the shield and just run out. Or if you get a really good setup, which I'll show you later in the video and in, in the live game, you can basically, um, you know, full charge your ult. Um, as for the build, what does it look like? It looks like one of these two boots. The item you need to rush every game is going to be Leandri's. Um, so I don't like actually, I'm not a fan of buying haunting guys. So what I like to do is I like to buy blasting one into, into amplifying tome into boots. And then like you go like something like this. And then as for the build, frozen heart is a very good item. It's cheap. It reduces everyone's attack speed by 20%. A lot of people are playing 80 champs. This is going to be your second um, second item. If for some reason you're against a lot of uh, AP champions, you can go connect Rukern. Another one is you should go Visage. If if I really think Rukern is a very broken item at the moment, just because, I mean, it gives you... it. Nunu's playstyle is going in and out. So you basically go in, do your, like, you know, you do your crap, hide out, you know, phase rush out. And then once your snowball is back in, uh, you basically go do a camp or something like you're very low hit point you eat then you go and do something else 
Um, so that's why Rukurin can be good and you get the magic damage shield back. But if you have like someone like a Sorak, like any, any enchanters, please go Visage. As for like the last few items, I don't think those chains could be good to lock someone down from them, doing so much damage to you. Um, I don't usually get to the late game. Dead Mads is all right, but uh, you don't need like reducing slow effects because your W already is immune to slows. But I would probably do something like Knight's Vow to keep my carry alive. Like I don't really usually get past um, these items, which is going to be this and then like this. And usually I don't get past this item, right? So it gets a little hard, but uh, if you have magic damage, this was good. I would just go pure tank. Knight's Vow is good as well. Where did it go? And honestly, <laughs> redemption is not that bad either. <laughs> like it it's just gives you hit point and it gives you more shield power, but you probably want to go resistances at this point. So um, I wouldn't do any of these like Sunfire ones. You're like kind of, you don't, you don't stay in fights. You need to get out and then in. Uh, so that's why even like Jack Show, I mean Jack Show is good just because of your Leandries and how their interaction works where it's permanently on them since you're just burning them but uh, you could go Jack Show like I'm not even sure what I'd build last item I just know I've tried Trailblazer you just feel really not tanky like, you can go more AP if you want but uh, I mean, you probably don't need damage at this point you're just rolling snowballs in the enemy so I'd, I'd suggest just going tanky slash support so if we're trying to keep that AD carry alive I think I don't know just build just build whatever that you feel good. Oh, also, there's an Imperial Mandate. Uh, I heard this is an interesting item where it does 12% of current health. Could be good, but uh, I need to test it a little bit more. Anyways, let's get right into the let's get right into the video, the live action video. All right, so this is gonna be the gameplay wise for Nunu. Um, you can see our comp is insanely good with Nunu. We have four auto attackers, Kale, Azir, Varus, and Senna. Unfortunately, they die. But the plan here is we're going to be ganking bot lane because Kale doesn't really have CC. And of course, we all know the golden rule, never gank or never chase a singed. Um, so as you can see, I'm doing the three camp clear and you can see how fast this clear really is. My bot lane is kind of screwed over, <clears throat> but uh, we're doing the really fast clear. And you can see they pinged Flash, Sona, and Sona here. Sorry, Flash on Lucian, and Sona has no heal. I need to do this a bit, but my, I'm also a little bit scared. Uh, my bot lane won't get level two before they will, but it's a free gank if we go right about now. And as you can see, I'm just auto weaving. And remember, you have to time your smites well with your auto attacks. So you need to know your smite level. I know it's 400, but now it's time to roll. They are level one. Will they die? Yep, they're gonna basically double like both die here get double new dude we're gonna give the kill to our varus he's our carry we can carry early game with our leandries but uh we don't have to we could also gank mid here but it is a leblanc and we'll all we'll get well it's probably a flash unless she uses her w in then she'll die but ganking a blanc is quite hard and also she's going to be useless because she is going these stupid um <clears throat> on the, the the lethality build with the like We'll take sword and static shiv um but honestly we don't really have anything to do so i i consider not really ganking the mid lane um but then i see ramus's bot and you can see his uh you can see his pathing was a little interesting he actually went he didn't do his top side um so what we can do here is we can take his take both crabs uh and then go to his top side I could actually take i'm not sure why i'm going to the top crab right now i should be taking the bottom crab because i can out smite him um but i i think i i don't know why i'm not taking the bottom crab at all actually it's super weird um but i think i have another plan where i want to take 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 this crab into his blue uh but i should be doing bottom crab middle crab and then into um his blue buff or ganking top lane but I, I i didn't check top lane right here i'm supposed to check top lane okay this is why okay I see what happened. I need to steal this. Um, but as you can see, this is awkward because we know LeBlanc is on her bottom side. So you can see the plan here was to screw him over and I was going to flash on the other side, but I do die. And it's because they had prowl on top and mid lane LeBlanc can move faster. So there was a plan there where we could do, do this both crabs and then go into the blue buff but it didn't work out so well which is unfortunate because he what he did actually 
what he did was I he recalled went through his top side immediately. I could I thought he'd actually do the bottom crab, but he he wanted to protect his top side. As you can see here, I'm rolling to my bot side, and because we don't have top prowl at the moment, we don't have mid prowl, we can't like really contest the crabs. But if they do do uh do void grubs, no one's there to protect their bot side from getting dove, right? So this is why I want to go right now. And I'm down to do this. this. You see how big this wave is? And also, when you're rolling a snowball, you notice, even though I died, every snowball counts. I've always hit a camp. I've always done something. I've always, like, killed someone with it. We have to get this Sona. Here, I'm taking a lot of damage. We, I underestimate Lucian's damage so much that I'm like, I'm not going to die. But she does have PTA. We do have a useless uh, AD LeBlanc. And right now, I can't go bot side right now. Um, I need to use this, uh, you see this movement speed I'm getting from the base? Uh, dying on Nunu is actually similar to the boss. Because you get extra movement speed when you, um, die, right? <clears throat> so, yeah, when you, when you die... Oh, man, he got the grubs. So, like, my plan there was to get the chickens, but he took it. And then, which kind of sucks. And now I'm looking topside to, like, see if I can get a gank. But honestly, I should be going to... I'm gonna be going to the bottom crab. But uh, I'm actually seeing if I can get a soul key here because I have 50 AP. He does have his, um, yeah, he does have his W up though. So that's like kind of hard. I'm not really going to wait a long time. And I'm looking to actually, okay, now we can go. And there it is. We eat it because, what happened there? We eat it because we need the health to contest this if LeBlanc wants to fight. And now I get the crab. Can we do dragon? The answer is no. And I'm waiting to see what we can do here. So my goal is either to go into the chickens or we go into LeBlanc. Um, but in my opinion, it's really hard to kill LeBlanc. So what I'm going to do is go into his red. Get this. I'm going to have to use a ward onto his left side. And you can see how strong AP Nunu is really in the early game. Like, you just feel powerful. But you have to play like a very hit and run playstyle. And of course, you're a lot squishier. Um, but you can see my bot side is kind of like pushing in, in a sense. And... If you if you notice i'm actually avoiding i'm actually checking before i go to the golems if a minion wave is here because i don't want to get caught and now that my team is in in play this is a cannon wave we can dive bottom and piss them off i didn't realize that was two deaths but yeah there, there's a lot of tps going on and also i probably would have died even if i flashed right so you got the nice choo-choo train whatever i don't know what i'm saying at this point yeah there it is you can see how strong the nunu is when it comes to diving i don't get those three minions it's kind of hard but with this pressure on bot side, I can actually do... I don't even want to do this pink ward. I'm hoping Senna does it. But um, uh, you notice that with this bot lane pressure, I can actually do uh, dragon here. I actually think I should have ignored the um, the the, uh, the pink ward so I can get a better timer to do this dragon. And it's not my job to do that pink ward, right? I need to ward this. And you can see how I'm kiting up my cooldowns uh, because autoing does nothing autoing this this dragon does nothing and i'm kiting it to ward in case the block comes or or dummy dummy bear uh ramus comes right um but ramus is really good here because there's a bunch of auto attackers and he's going to be going thorn mail i'm not going to smite this because he's going to help me i'm just going to queue it and then i'm just going to peace out um and you can see how efficient you need to be with your cooldowns they're always going to be on cooldown if you can you're always doing something with your cooldowns you know so q i'm looking bot lane because they're kind of playing like this we have no we do know where the center is awarded there, so um, where where the spot center is is warded. I don't really think I can gank that way uh, at the moment. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap around. Wait, I'm gonna wrap around. I thought I was gonna roll into the chickens, uh, but then I see a counter gank here. Maybe this works. Yep, this is a counter gank. And I flash over. Just want to secure the kill. Maybe I could have went to the wall and just press R. But to be honest, I'm not even too sure. They're actually building up a nice big wave again. I sh maybe can be there. I wasn't checking. But uh, let me see here. That's not even... It's like not even a cannon wave. It, it, I don't have alts either. My bot lane does have double alts. So maybe I should have been there to dive. But you can see... Uh, I, I'm looking at this replay and learning myself that we do have level 6 on Varus and Senna. But their enemy is also level 5. But that's okay. I'll, I'll be here on this next big wave. This next wave is really looking juicy and you can see i'm kind of hiding right oh, i have to go now now this is awkward where i kind of don't want to dive this um because now i kind of have to go in the ramus 
and they they cut me and it's like really awkward right i actually think i should have just went at lucian and i would have killed him but uh he was ah uh, i, I kind of screwed the movement speed you know okay they got him it's looking like a really good setup for azir yep uh, hopefully yep it's a it's a two for two at the moment and it might be a two for three it's not but as you see each death that i get it doesn't matter it's uh looking pretty well you know he's too fast he kites me i don't think he has movement speed i'm kind of trying i'm trying to kite him and you can see uh i know that people are coming for this kill what i'm gonna do is i take the plant blow him a bit hopefully he doesn't get away uh okay yeah he's trying to juke something i guess and now with this snowball i can either do i'm gonna do my um i'm gonna do my chickens I'm a bit low to contest the Ramus if he if he is there, but that's why I use the vision plant to basically come up here, and then I'm gonna do crab, uh, and and the void grabs at the same time. Um, yeah, see, I want to hit the, the, the actually I want to secure this first from Ramus because I see him right, I see him first, but then I go to grubs, and how you do grubs is each of them give the new new passive, so I'm gonna hit probably hit all three of them when I when I need the buff. Uh, right? Y'all, I'm going to hit all three of them for the buff, right? Okay, maybe I don't. Maybe I just don't care. I'm waiting. There it is. And then I queue. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I should queue the one with big, big health. <laughs> okay, now, you see Singed, but he knows I'm here. I'm sure I roll a snowball into him just to harass him. I don't want to get flipped. Yeah, we don't want we don't want to get flipped here, right? Also, his W actually does cost my new new snowball away. It was a free cheese gank. Maybe I could have gone to his blue buff and took it for free. Um, we know we have a feeling that Ramus might be here. This would be a great play from Ramus to come down here to uh, uh, actually come and dive this guy. But him sticking our turret is really nice because Santa won't be there in time. There's me eating a fruit. Um, but yeah, we roll this snowball. This is uh. Not a ganking snowball. This is a farming snowball because we need to use those cooldowns on cooldown ASAP. This is why we kind of do it here. Then, gank bot. Is this built? Is this another cannon wave? I'm looking to eat that. I think Nunu also in real life with fruit, with honey fruits. Funny enough, it's a, the honey fruit. Oh, okay, we do this snowball just in case. Uh, looks like they reset instead. I want to actually hide that snowball. But I think they saw it, maybe. I'm not too sure. Now I'm on a ward, so that kind of stinks. We're going to go to some wards. We don't know where their LeBlanc is or Ramus. There they are. I'm going to roll a snowball to counter gank them. I'm going to go into their into their back line. They come and stun me. We're going to try and get out. Ooh. Boom. Azir comes to roam. Very good play. Instead of staying mid. That was a very nice roam. He gets a double kill. And he doesn't get killed by Lucian. Um, it's just, He's an autofill mid lane. But it's, it's it's good that he kind of played like that. The way he played it was, was nice. And I think he's just playing safe. But yes, I am not going to peel on the Ramus. Even though he's an armored target. Uh, he, is ha he does have Aftershock and a Giant's Belt. Um... But remember, you're playing AP Nunu. And look at me. Look at this movement speed I keep from di the death. Oh, whoops. <clears throat> um, you're playing AP Nunu. So you can be an assassin on a too squishy target, right? You can be an assassin. Uh, but you will be going tank later. And you should just hit whoever's in front and peel for your team. Technically, with Nunu, though, uh, you, you can like be an assassin-y. They later are a little bit no, but your ult does so much damage and you're a huge threat if they let you get that ult off. Because Sona used her ult off before I got my ult, well, she, she kind of GG'd herself. Do you want to ult the snowball from hitting Lucian, though? Um, but you can see how my pathing was was towards the dragon. How should you do dragon or rift herald? Um, should you do, which one should you prioritize? Uh, I think dragon is better in a late game, so I, I would do dragon. And then hopefully you have control of the other side. Here we see a LeBlanc. Um, I'm going to roll the snowball. I was going to roll into the chickens. This is for pressure for them to get off the turret. Uh, I, I can't really reach the Rift Herald. They are actually five-man ganking top right now. 
So I'm trying to find some camps. And then uh, you can see I'm not really... Oh, I'm trying to actually counter this one. And I know that what's his name is top, right? And you can see I'm not using my E to actually do the wolves. I'm actually using... Uh, I'm actually holding it because I know Ramus is around here. And I'm trying to do some... See if he's fishing for some camps right now. Um, here my bot lane is rotating. Am I going to hit this? I do have water walking at the moment. Um, I'm going to roll it to help my team if they don't get it. But you can see how I use a snowball is I roll it into the camp. I don't actually waste it and go back to Rift Herald. Even though like we do have good tempo. Um, we do have good tempo to like go back to Rift Herald right now. But I never waste it. And now I'm going to wait for my team to actually get into position where they can clear their waves and then we can do Rift Herald. Uh, we see that Ramus is bot lane. Uh, so it's a, it is a free Herald at the moment. Um, but yeah, we're just waiting for our team to like establish positioning onto this Rift Herald. You don't have to force it. Don't worry about it. Even though like, uh, yeah, maybe you could do high tempo. Um, and, you know, not do your camps and stuff like that. But uh, we're just playing it safe to see more info in the map. That's why I do it a little bit late. And then I see Lucian mid. Uh, I think Senna's trying to give me movement speed, but it's not working. Yep, there it is. And you can see I'm not using the Rift Herald at all. I eat that, eat that minion. What the heck? I think it's here. That's kind of stupid. So we do both his camps here. We have nothing else to do. You see a snowball to come. Not really. Am I going to Rift Herald mid? Nope. I use it to actually uh, team fight. And then I, don't, I see an opportunity to go mid here with this snowball. If they want to engage. Looks like they want to engage on us. Yeah, I'm trying to slow. Look at that damage, by the way. I'm trying to use make her use her ult. I'm actually using this to ult to zone. I'm actually taunted really hard. What the heck? As you can see, my Q didn't go off. And that's the that's, that's the privilege of being not a tank Nunu. Um, also, I think Kale's there to ult me, but that's okay. If I did, if she ulted me, she would have. I would have lived. But yes, this is the, this is why going AP Nunu is a little sketchy. And now you can see the Sona is scaling. Uh, this is gonna, gonna suck. Now I'm trying to build a neck Rukin because you, they do have quadruple AP. Uh, un unfortunately, I did forget that, that LeBlanc was going AD. So I need to build this item. And yeah, LeBlanc is going AD. Although Stormraiser plus whatever uh, Lucian, Lucian's building is a, a AP, but he does, you know. <clears throat> Here we kind of boom, what up? And then you see every death on Nunu is a good death. Every every death on Nunu is a great death. And um, maybe I could have summoned Rift Herald a little bit earlier for that team fight. Would have been nice. And here, we're going to do double siege combo. We're going to try and drive into Sona. We're gonna try and do it like this. He actually got a kill. Lucian just feels very powerful. Someone's is someone in this? No, no one's in this. But yeah, you can see every snowball is a good snowball, right? Looks like I think she still has alt, so I'm kinda I'm kinda not having it right now. She went blood song. Mm, let's see what we can find here. We can't find oh, nothing we can find. We thought the red buff was up. And then we're just gonna get out of here. Go do Gromp. And yeah, I'm going to go to this item. But um, yeah, this Lucian, like he's he only has one item, and look how much damage he does. He does so much. We don't. I don't know why he does so much, but it's like a ton. It feels bad for me. So, um, oh, every snowball's a good snowball. And uh, what other tips do I have? Um. I don't really know. Like, I think I've said every every tip I've said before. I guess I can talk about his abilities. Like, you know his E is an insane AP ratio. His ult, I use it to zone. And that team fight, that, that specific team fight, I use it to zone. Um, Because I know that the, they want to help the Ramus and follow up on him. And I use my E to kind of zone as well. But uh, I, I end up dying, which is unfortunate. I'm trying to look for a Bush Nunu ulti, but this is a, a very large squishy target. I can see they're all using a lot of cooldowns on me. 
and I was about to flash out, but then I get a really... I actually didn't get a good ult at all. But they use all their cooldowns on me. So I'm going back in. <clears throat> and I see... The, 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 as you can see, Nunu is really good at tanking a lot of damage. And basically... Um, and getting out and then going back in. I snowball in because I knew they used Sona ult on me. They used Ramus ult on me. I'm trying to help clean up, help my team. It seems like they don't need me. We go back to the dragon and then we just do it. Now, if we're closer to the, the, the dragon pit um, or the baron pit, we can do it. Um, but you can see here that uh, we can't do baron. So that's why I'm just going to do all his camps if they're up. Make him deprived, make him depressed. You know how it is. And this is why Leandre is good because his clears are like so good right now with it. It helps a lot. Um, but I would have flashed out. I would have flashed out. Uh, they actually flipped me, I think, and, and denied my ult. I think that's what happened. I got a big ult with Kale. That would have been nice. I would have flashed out, though, if Kale didn't ult me, though. For sure. They made the mistake of going on a tank, so it, it didn't make sense. And I think the, the MR actually did help me a lot. And this is why I also did go Merc Treads, right? Because they do have a Ramus. And, of course, for... I did it the reverse way where I said I usually go frozen heart, but because they're stacking so much magic damage, they, um, they deserve what's coming to them. As you can see, they're trying to engage on me, but I do have phase rush. Oh, I'm really confident with my phase rush. This is, it doesn't have too much MR. I can't walk up to him. He does have a Sona. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to help kill that person. That is a dead LeBlanc there. I get the warn and here i'm trying to follow up here i'm trying to get the bush passive with uh with uh you know with new new snowball i'm gonna go this way guess she cut it really well no she didn't um but she just has moonstone and staff of flowing water so this is like very awkward he didn't get the taunt off him i'm, I'm kind of space gliding him We can't fight this. Holy. I need a peel maybe. Nope. We're just going to do our camps. Jesus Christ. Um, Damn. He really got baited by the Sona. And I did too. Uh, supports feel... Enchanters don't feel weak this season. They feel awesome. You see a team fight is starting. Uh, but he is fairly tanky. My angle there was a little awkward. I need to start rolling a little bit to the right. And I can maybe kill him. But look at his... He's got Jack Show. I'm thinking about heal cut because that Sona is like disgusting. Um, but this game is getting a little hard. We do have Kale and Nazir and Senna. GG. Woohoo! Look at this heal, man. I can't feel this. This guy is way too strong. I got flipped. Azir is here. I can't really chase him. I don't have cooldowns. And then you just... If you need to see Sidon like immediately, just press your W. Like it's a little... It's like a 0 0.5 second knockup, even though it's a crap W. Obviously, you should never do that. But like, this, there's instances where you're just close to range and knock him up just a little bit. We get this Baron. Um, you see, just the poke with my E does so much damage. It's like a, like 20% of her health if you just hit one. So. I'm just hoping that LeBlanc's not here. Come back. I'm shooting her, shooting the E away. Because we just want to recall. I'm going to go Mish Highs. No, wait. Okay, I almost did. No, I did. Wait. Yeah, because it's five stacks. Oops. We need to get this. We go to the blue buff. Because we want to give... After 20 minutes, I love giving my buff. Like, I like doing buffs. I don't think you should do camps uh, anymore. Or high tempo. Um, but you should just do camps. Um, and I, I think I try and do crab, but it's okay. But I, I like to do blue buff, red buff, because it gives it to your whole team. 
um here he wants help on a singed I, I don't really want to chase him i think he can get push on him too i think it is a good kill but i really don't want my see this is why i really don't want bot lane to loot to like die so this is a better play than going bot and chasing a singe right <laughs> so here this is a peeling snowball i'm going to try and drive it into into anyone i find i can't really drive into a singe or sorry leblanc me oh you don't want to flip me okay oh but well, that's what's hurting me it's the it's the pta quest item there's the peel there i guess it's good to like kite down oh i need to eat something i see how i have my connect reborn oops take a little damage there i need to eat something i need to eat something i need to heal remember what i said always key the minions not people um that's 400 485 healing this is a go in it snowball like i can't really go into ramus i peel back I need to eat something i get i hit the inhibitor for the buff this looks like a bad team fight they want to go in this is a peeling ulti for my team win we're getting moonstone gapped by the way we did kill the sona Give my team the new new buff by hitting structures. Oh, uh, my team wants to do dragon. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a it's a good way to go out and safely secure the game. Wait, I can see. Uh, he pinged the uh, KLR. But I'm not in his party. That's weird. Here, I'm just gonna zone the uh, the Ramus. Like, I don't know. Like, I missed the, the last plant. You know, they can do it themselves. I'm just peeling, snowballing. Here, I think they want to engage on me. But I have Connect Reborn, see? This LeBlanc doesn't do any damage. I don't understand how she got that. I don't actually understand. Obviously, buying the Cloth Armor over Sapphire Crystal. What? what what does a sapphire crystal do for you as you see every snowball is always into chickens and we just do it in one second like how op is that you just queue it or you just w into it queue it and then just go to uh the next rotation on the map this looks like a great a great team fight and onto the sona you don't want to do it onto the look at me i'm an assassin i'm in a i'm an assassin If he had a collector, maybe he would have killed me. So, yeah. He Dude, he does so much damage now. Look at how much armor I have. I have 140. I don't know if he has Lord LDR. I don't know if he has LDR. Um, let's see here. Okay, my team's winning. I'm doing, I'm like doing absolutely nothing. Now I'm pretending to be new, new. Okay. And th that's basically how you play, uh, new, new in season, season 16 or 14, whatever. 